Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Evil Space. So yes, here we are. We are uh, working our way up from uh, Stone Age up to the Copper Age. We're getting to the steam machines and getting some kinetic energy going to get better production to further progress. Uh, as you can see, I have expanded the platforms a little bit. And uh, let me just move my mouse cord here. There you go. It's right behind the coffee cup. Always a bad sign. I'm more for the coffee than me, anyways. And uh, yeah, so I've been. I got a whole bunch of copper smelted. I don't want to get too much of this process because I want to start getting into the doubling and all that stuff. Uh, I have also been getting a lot of bamboo, so we need to start dealing with that too. So for the time being, uh, I'm actually going to go and put a furnace here. Actually, we'll put it on the other side here. Uh, what we're going to be using this for is turning this into fuel. Uh, if you look at the recipes in this, you put it in a, in a stone dryer with a little bit of fuel, it gets you coal dust. So this gets us coal. We can burn it for a very small amount of heat, but it's really not worth it. And then we can also turn it to sawdust if we really want to, but this coal dust is what I want to do. So we're actually going to go ahead and put a stone furnace on the back side here. Put it there. And I did figure out the, the whole input out the put thing. Uh, that icon right there. So as you can see, on this one, the heat comes at the top, that's the flame, and you have the input here for the fuel, and then on the, the back side would be the output of the ash. And yeah, that's how it is. In fact, we do have floating blocks. <laughs> yes, we do. What we're going to do is put a stairs there, of course. I'm going to try to get into the habit of this, uh, just because I don't have the jetpack yet, but we're going to get into that pretty quick. Now. What we're going to do is we're going to stick a, as soon as I find them, there we go, stack of stone logs. I did find some coal. There's actually coal in the marsh right there and iron and all that stuff. So we are good on that. Now the stone dryer, like I said, we'll uh, put the bamboo in there. We'll turn that into coal dust. And now coal dust, of course, you can burn it for fuel. Uh, so yeah, I have enough copper. So let's go ahead and start progressing the quest and start getting to the different machines. So the first one we're going to need is the, the automatic hammer, and that's going to help us make the plates. So it's going to be, it's going to be saving us half the, the, in this case, copper that we're going to need. Now we could use this for any tier that we want of metal. We could use it for the steel. I think we could use it for aluminum. I don't think it has to, the aluminum has to go through the aluminum automatic hammer. That's just much faster. But I think that one actually needs, I think that one needs power. Nope. These are all steam powered. That's in okay. That's interesting. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and make one of these, and as you can see, it takes one one pipe, one plate, and one casing. The casing is the casing is three plates, so that's four plates all together, and then the pipe is one plate, so that's five plates. Making the plates by myself takes two. So if we go here, and as you can see, go to plate. Plate recipe is two by me, but if we use this automatic camera, it goes down to one. There's another recipe here, and I don't know why it showed eight seconds on that one, but early access, that's okay. So anyways, we'll close that, and we'll go ahead and craft one of those. It'll do automatically craft it for us. You can also click on the, the crafting queue to cancel it, and you get all your materials back. So now we have our automatic camera. Now the automatic camera does have its own input and output, and I'm going to try to utilize this a little more my playthrough now the steam doesn't have to be here the steam can be anywhere you want and your machines can be anywhere you want uh, the only difference is you have to make more pipes so what we're going to do for the meantime is we're actually going to place it down and we're going to get some steam going into it now again you can see the GUI you got the output there if I rotate it you got the steam on the inside and I think there was steam on the top too I'm not 100% sure but uh, for now, we'll do it like this, because this is actually going to get us some pla uh, plates made for us, so we can actually start making more pipes. And basically the same thing, like so. And that starts outputting steam, and since this actually isn't full, the furnace starts burning again. And that's how it works. Uh, this isn't actually going to use anything until I put a stack of those in. So now it's making copper plates for me. So that is how it goes. Now we're going to look at the quest line again. Now this is the copper and pure dust, gravel. 
this is our first ore doubling process and that actually goes through an automatic hammer now if you look at the recipe menu here and whenever you middle click on anything and whenever you get a tool to there you can actually see the recipe for it now on the left side it'll tell you the uses for that item so you can run this through a copper macerator and get impure dust so that's ore doubling there or you can run it through a wash plant you can get uh, copper or gravel which is doubled again and that can be smelted so there's two different ways that we can do different things different things for instance right and while I'm yammering on it's already made five of these for me and saved half my copper so I can go ahead and make the plates myself uh, which are here and I have five plates two three four five just because I don't want to be wasting my iron, my copper right so yeah, now the since we're at it, we might as well make another one of these. I have enough. Oh, I right clicked by mistake. <laughs> bad. There, at least you see the refund there. Yeah, that's a bad thing to do. Uh, right clicking does five, but I'm gonna get another one of these going just because it's always handy to have more than one because we're gonna need one to make plates. We're gonna need one for a doubling process. I'm going to go with this and the wash plant because we can apparently reuse that uh, rinse water for other uh, waste water for other things. All right, now might be wise to keep it over here just because it's going to be a little quieter. Uh, where is my output? That's the input. That's the output. I actually like that idea do it like that it's gonna make well, it's made seven already now for the pipe network that's what I'm thinking I might have a pipe here I can either have the pipe going to the floor and teeing off through the systems or I can go over but I might be having conveyor systems going over so I'm gonna go down here and we're gonna go through the floor take that and like so and that's going to be the system and then this, this boiler the oh we can come down here through that grab a couple more of these while I'm at it let's see I wanna, like I said I want to make sure I'm not using too many so I can make five and ten make ten more this is why I went and grabbed a whole bunch of copper off camera oh yeah when you do, do them in fives then you'll get them in fives do them on the whole stack, you won't get them until you have the whole stack. And I misplaced that. <laughs> of course I did. Alright, now I'll just take this out. Gotta make sure it all goes. As you can see, there's the output for the, or the input for the furnace, but I'm not gonna be using that. Like so, and. Uh, and it goes pretty quick, too. Uh. You do have to be careful though because there's always a certain amount of steam coming out of that boiler. So if you have enough machines running, then you'll start bogging down and you'll start running out of running out of steam and then your machines aren't running as fast as they could. I got five more, I'm gonna make another five just because. Put them down here and one, two, and three. So that one's got steam now. I don't know if there's any facades or anything like that, but there's definitely something. All right, now as you can see, we got it's only three and a half um, coal, but each coal gets you where is it here? Ten fuel, and of course you get the ash. And uh, I told her to talk about the ash. And that's something I'm definitely going to be getting into. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and do that. As far as uh, those item buffer chests I was talking about. Uh, we need particle board for that. And to make particle board, we actually have to get to uh, the metal press. And the earliest tier is steel. So, we're a little ways from that yet. So, basically, I have to manually feed these things. Uh, I can't use conveyors or just basically going from one machine to another. So, we've got a few more of those, and we're actually going to move this. Excuse me. Thank you. I'm going to go over here. Uh, 
Actually, I'm gonna need those pipes. We'll put that there. Take the torches off. Get another. Get another hammer here. Uh, I want to try to have all the inputs and outputs on the same side. Uh, so the steam only comes in on this side, so it won't connect to this pipe. But I can just take the floor out. And go ahead and place two more pipes. One there, and like so. So now they both have steam. Now, one of them, and I think it's going to be this one here, is going to be processing the copper ore. Right, it's going to hammer the copper ore and get impure gravel, which is 50% more than this. goes to an ore washing plant, which gets you 50% more than that. Of course, just get smelted, and you get copper. And then, of course, like I said, the, the hammer saves you from doing it yourself. And then those plates, either you can make... There's two ways of actually making copper rods, for instance, like up in the components. Two ways of actually making them. You can make them in a cutting machine, get two rods for one plate, or uh, build yourself for one. And then, of course, you also get a macerator and get all... Get some of the materials back for each each item, so it's quite interesting. So there we go, got copper impure gravel. I'm gonna go to the quest, see where we're at there. So now into the ore washing machine. Copper ore washer. So the cost on that is a fair bit, as you can see. But we're gonna go ahead and make it, just because we do have the copper. Uh probably should get some more going. I think we'll be okay. <laughs> yeah, that's it's gonna get quite pricey here. Definitely. Always gotta make sure your fuel is gone. And also gotta make sure that ash doesn't fill up. If that ash fills up, that thing shuts down. The number of times I've had my stuff come to a grinding halt just because I ran out. Alright, get that going, get a little more of that. Now we have the ore washer. I put that there. Now, where should I put this? That's the output of this machine, so the ore washer should go here. Oh, I already put it on the hot bar. Huh. Again, you got three different inputs and outputs. You got kinetic energy, you have an output, and then you have an input on this side. So if I gotta have the input here, uh, we're probably gonna be using. Oh yeah, there's the water output to a wastewater output. Let's see, how am I going to do this? I'm going to have to have a pipe to... I think we'll put it there. Got to get some conveyors going. Now the conveyors move parts. And different sort of things. So as this is doing the input pure gravel, it's going to output it into this machine here. This machine needs water. So I got to make more pipes going for the water collector, or I can make a second water collector and set it up right on this side here. I'm going to even just put it right here, connect it right into that, and I'm probably going to end up doing that. So another water collector is going to be more plates. No, you don't have the plates. You don't have plates either. Let's get you going. I should have got you going a long time ago. That's going to take a little bit. But anyways, uh, what, what is next on the, the agenda? So yeah, we're going to get that. And then we gotta make the macerator, that'll get us this, which I'm not gonna be going in that line because that's not the way I wanna go. Uh, wait, what were we doing again? Uh, macerator. So, we're gonna need this anyways. So, what is the cost on that? Oh, we need plates. The copper, too. Uh, it is doing it for us. How much more do I need for this? See, I made everything into pipes. And conveyors. Well, let's get the conveyors set up while it's while we're waiting on that. So the output from here is going to go like that. And as you can see, it comes out. And then we'll do another one there. And i got to get one more going. And I'll transfer there and I'll actually go into the, the oil washing plant. So I can make one more conveyor. Four more there. Yes, it is dark. Uh, since I've already placed this stuff, I can put a torch down. Nothing will break. So we at least can see what we're doing. Alright, and then a conveyor. Like so, and that'll go automatically feed into this machine. 
And now I just gotta give it water. And then all I have to do is either make sure that this is being fed, or I get those those buffer chests going. Uh, there are containers, chests, but they're input only. There is actually no outputs on them, and I haven't seen anything else that actually works as an output. Uh, I have no idea what that is. There's no icon for it. Uh, there are conveyor splitters, so you can split two different ways, and again, you can see early access. And then we get into steel and my coke ovens and stuff like that. So I should have enough plates now to do this. And uh, water collector. Just a couple more. I think I'm literally one plate away. Actually, I need the rods, that's why. Anyway, you can have those back. Uh, don't have any more on me. So now we have the water collector. We'll do... We're just going to rotate like so and just feed that right in there. So now we do, go back to the quest. Uh, still got to do the macerator. And I think I can do that. Nope, I cannot do that. What am I missing? Oh yeah, I gotta make rods. And as you can see, the steam's already starting to die down. So either... Oh, we're right. Now we're running out of fuel? No, we're not. Probably not. A, probably too much going on. So we'll make the rest mass later, then put those back. And we need kinetic energy. So now we got me a steam engine. Uh, let's get the day back here. <laughs> For recording purposes, you know that. It's been a while since I've said that one. I'm going to span it a little bit. Uh, that's one of the best things I like about video games these days is the lighting, the god rays, the, the reflection even. You can actually see the bump mapping on the bricks. When I was your age, we never had... We never had graphics like that. We had 16K sprites. 16 bit sprites. Sorry. Yeah, pixels. Uh, it's one of those days. Anyway. Let's uh, span this a little bit more. Get a little bit more room. Uh, we gotta make more, more pipes and get a steam engine going. And a steam engine is gonna be producing power. Uh, we can get into steam turbines, but they're, uh, I think, steel and up in there. A little on the pricey side. While we're at it, let's get another stack of bamboo in here. Uh, check our fuel situation. Good, make sure the ash isn't overflowing. And this still needs a kinetic, kinetic steam engine. Haha, <laughs> needs kinetic power. That's what I was trying to say. So we have a steam engine here. And I need more ingots. And it just used up all my ingots. Well, that's what you don't get for. Uh, not keeping stuff going. And uh, we'll let that go. And then we're going to get a pump out of this. The pump, or the dump, helps us get rid of the wastewater. And we're going to get rid of that for now. Just because I don't really need it at the moment. And I think... Because we're going to have that automatically going into a furnace. Actually, that's a good idea. Let's get that set up right now. And we'll actually make a robotic arm for that. As soon as this thing actually cooks up some ingots for me. Do that, or we can get a cutting machine going. Which I think uses, yeah, kinetic energy. So, yeah, no matter what, we need a steam engine. But that's doing its thing. I don't think I have any left in the, this one. No, so I'll bring it back when I got some ingots. Okay, I got some ingots. So I'm going to actually do, because I got a whole bunch of plates, I will have to make some more pipes, so because the steam engine needs a uh, steam to go into it. I'm going to make a, first going to make a copper cutting machine. And we are going to actually place that right over here. And where's the, where's the output? That's not the output. No, that's not the machine. That needs to connect the connect motor too. What do you know? Anyway. Uh, let's do a steam engine then. Now, where is the input on this? 
the output's there, our input is there. Better yet, we should check the steam engine first. Okay, so the input's there, so the output's there. So then we can actually place copper, the, the cutting machine, like so. Now this is a fun one. Now I, it took me a while to figure this one out, but if you hold shift and right click, it does half the stack. So what that's actually doing, as you can see the little animation there, is it cuts the pipe by the plate. Little things like that. And just wait till that thing goes full speed. Now that I have that, I can make a robotic arm. Uh, I do have to make one more steam engine too. I'll we'll place the robotic arm. Uh, where are you? There you are. And this is what it does. Now, I didn't realize this at first, but there is actually an arrow there. It's kind of hard to see over the brick, but I place that there. It'll take from the output and put it to an input. And the input is going to be a furnace. Or not a furnace, a smelter. Let's go ahead and get, grab one of those, and I should have one here somewhere. I do. I'll take this one. Thank you. Take the floor out. Don't care too many. Ah, there's plenty of stone everywhere. That's the wrong spot, actually. That's actually going to go over here. Because the arm will actually put it right inside the block. So I'll do that, and that on top. And then I'll take the ores, place a fuel in here. I have some. Of course I do. And I'll just put the stairs here while I'm here so I don't fall in. Always happens. You know it does. Plus it's so much easier to, to access the GUI the furnace. Okay, now I should have my second steam engine and make sure we got the thing lined up like so. And then again, we're going to go to the floor. Not that floor, this floor. Like that. How many pipes can I make? Not enough. Uh, we'll get some of that going in there. Uh, that should have seven more for me. Should. I would actually take them. Oh, here, do that. And check over here. I will get some automated fuel uh, fuel going. But now we should have enough to make. See how many pipes we can make. We've got four there. Make two more. And what we gotta do is just connect it connect it to the network downstairs. And six more. One. Two, three, four, five, six. Uh, of course, I will be expanding this. And I can't get up. We gotta make that jetpack. Can I reach the machine? Yes, I can. That's not the machine I want to reach. Uh, three more. Uh, it's gonna take a little bit more. Where are we at the quest here? We just gotta get that, and we gotta get the mass rate going, so we do have to get that going. Uh, jetpack. We are going to get that jetpack going pretty quick here. I'm just going to wait for a couple more plates. Two more pipes. Those on the hot bar. Let's see here. One, two, three. And there we go. So now, we get, now we're getting true ore doubling here. This is really going to come in handy, but... We're going to be processing a lot of copper and iron. And there we go. As you can see, it's boosting, it, boosting the steam. Or producing the kinetic energy from the steam. But now that I have three machines running, I'm going to need a second boiler going. So, I'm going to have to get that going right now. Uh, I do not have enough to make a boiler. That's fine, because this should already be producing. Not yet. 
what I do have to do, actually. There we go. Now I can put that back in. And that brings us up to that quest. Let's get the Mass Raider down. Because we just have to use it for the time being, which means it needs needs kinetic energy. So we need to make another steam engine. So what I'll do is I'll remove this for now. Just because I don't have the copper built up yet. Do that. This is the Mass Raider and it basically grinds stuff down. So then what we could do is I won't do that, I'll do a whole whole amount. We'll just take that out and we'll get our that and that'll finish up that quest, which will get us our fluid dump and our another couple, couple of copper valves. And now we're just gonna get into the jetpack, which is gonna be fairly expensive. It's gonna be a lot of copper, I'll probably end up doing it myself. And there we go. There's our dump. Uh this um, might have a pipe going somewhere else, but I don't need it at the, for the time being. Apparently, I do. So where are we going to put the dump? Well, I made a whole bunch of bricks. I have a ton of stone. Let's let's expand. Uh, let me get build a, a pad, and I'll bring you back. Okay. Uh, I do got to get a little bit of a staircase so we can get up for the time being. That's not enough to do it like that. If I can aim right. I know, I have stairs, I should be using them, but that's for that. Alright, so there we go, I got copper. Uh, we gotta get this wastewater out of there so we can actually process, or, uh, yeah, process our iron. Or copper, yes, <laughs> that's what I mean. Uh, let's put it right over here. So, as you can see, green is our input. Ah, well, let's. Yeah, let's put a few more blocks. Why not? So it's a dump. It's gonna smell, isn't it? Not that we can smell anything. Oh, sure. Now we just gotta see how many plates we have. Uh, let's do this just because. Ah, uh, my eyes. It's bright. That's the wrong machine. Two of those. Oh, no, it's not, not going to flatten. And I'm going to make a few more pipes. How many have I got? I got one. I can make two more. Uh, the input is there. So I'm going to have to make a few. So let me get that done and I will bring you back. Okay, I have a whole bunch of pipes here. Uh, if you notice, the steam is fluctuating. And that's what I mean about needing a second boiler. So I, that's a cutting machine. I do gotta make a few more pl uh, plates here. And we'll actually get those going uh, while I'm getting the pipes going. So we'll do that, go in here. Oh, that's that stupid pumpkin farm again. And then we'll go over here and take out, uh, take out this block. And I'll try to make sure that I'm keeping it, the pipe network separate, so this one might go down a little bit further than the rest of them, just to sort of stay out of the way. And that is going to be, where is it? Uh, right here. <laughs> it's a water dump and there's flies. Coincidence? I think not. Okay, we're going to do that. Where did that one go? I have no idea. Uh, let's see here. That's going to be the, the ore washer, so we'll do that. That's going to be our output. And I think we should be okay. I think I'm losing my pipes here. And after we do this, I should have enough plates to get another boiler going, and that'll double up our, our steam production. That went in the wrong spot. Go up. Now let's go upstairs and see what's going on. Excuse me. So there you go. This is actually dumping the water. It's getting rid of it. Uh, it does take time. I don't. I. You can't take it higher tiers of that. And you can see it's a little bit more of a green color. So that's our wastewater. So this is currently washing the ores. 
And as soon as this is done, as you'll see, the robotic arm will take it out, put it into sm the smelter, and there we go. We have our first production. And now, I was thinking about it. About it. I think it's time we're actually going to turn this around. So let me quickly expand the pad. Okay. So there we go. We're all uh, expanded. I did make it another boiler. So let's get that down and start getting a little bit more steam going. Again, we're going to take the floor out. Uh, also, you can move around and do things while you're actually in the, the menu, which is is a good thing and a bad thing at times. Okay, I got the stairs in the bar. Good. Take that out. And, of course, my stair. Now, let's get that second boiler on top. Like so, uh, that is the water line coming in. So, I have to make sure to keep that separate from the rest of it. And what do you know, I need to make a few more pipes. Do that. And I had ingots on me, so it took the two ingots to make the plate instead of me making it by myself made it through the machine. I'm just waiting for these to come through. Uh, you know what? Let's actually put this pumpkin farm down and just get it out of the way so it's not bothering me anymore. Okay. Uh, that's not a pipe. Okay, now I gotta make sure I don't fall in a hole. We're gonna get that jet pie going real quick after that one. Alright, let's go over here. And so I just gotta make sure it stays clear of that. I did miss a block. I thought I did. Do that. And there. And then that one can connect to the system. So the water is going to the back of these two uh, boilers. They both need fuel. Uh, that's something I have to do. So I'm gonna start cutting down trees. So I'll probably give that a few logs. We'll give that a few logs. wrong log. That makes sense. So that's going to produce more steam. Now I was thinking about it, I'm actually going to turn this one around. Just because I'm going to have the furnace coming right out, uh, coming right out on conveyors to this. So we're going to have the input there. So now you're just going to make a few con conveyors. Uh, let's see, conveyor is going to be plates. And that is made with one so I gotta get some more plates going so let me get that done isn't it just nice and quiet and peaceful here it is mm. <laughs> oh yeah it's gonna get quite noisy I do have the game audio down so it's probably not as loud as you well a lot louder for you I haven't processed this up we already got 14 coal which means that I'll get us 140 Oh, that's the wrong one. There we go. That'll get us 140 heat. So we'll use that eventually. We'll probably have that set to its own little uh, fuel requirer, we'll call it. All right, so I have enough for seven, seven prayers. I'll go ahead and craft those up. I want to, do, to get some storage. I don't know if there's actually a wooden... Uh, there is a wooden chest, okay. We're just going to do that for basic storage. As soon as this goes through. And that way I can clear up my inventory. I don't really need to have the organics on me or the seeds or the ash right now. Like I get limestone and all this other stuff. So uh, I have seen the copper. It's like 25 slots. I don't know what the wooden one is, but we'll find out right now. And this is just for my own personal st stuff. So this is 20 slots, so it's not too bad. We're going to put all this stuff in here just because I don't actually get an inventory upgrade like you do in uh, uh, Satisfactory. Yes. And I'm going to put that in there because there's only going to get us one and a half ingots if we can't actually process the half ingot. We'll put the dirt in there. The basalt because I don't know what that's for. And uh, uh, we'll need the clay next time. But anyways, I should have... Oh yeah, the conveyors. So I got a few more of these. Now, I kind of want to use a robot because if I put the conveyor here, it's going to cover the furnace, and I don't want that. So I think I want to put a robot here. Uh, it's going to require a lot of copper, I realize. But that's okay because we have that going through. That is out of 
kinetic energy, which means we're out of fuel. What do you know? Uh, let me get this all straightened out, and I'll bring you back, and we'll end this one. Okay, I should have enough, and I thought I forgot to do this before I started recording. Uh, you know that old turning on the lights after you've been in the dark for so long. But anyways, uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and put these conveyors down. And we'll put them there, and we're going to turn this one that way. And we're just going to go this way here. Oh, i am got to pick that one up. That's not going that way. That's not going to do me any good. I'll make sure that arrow is going. It could be a little bit better. Uh, it's also does tend to change position as you see. Now I need two more, which gotta get. I'm not sure I do have enough there. Uh, you know what? Wow, well, robots can be more expensive, but I'm gonna do a robotic arm anyways. I have to do one for over the, the furnace here, just so I can actually access the. the furnace itself. Smelter, I know. I know I'm saying it wrong. I'm gonna do that and I think for the time being I'm gonna put a wooden chest on the other side here. Uh, just over here as an output. Uh, eventually we're gonna be conveying off to other places and doing different things but I'm gonna get two more plates going. Uh, I was running out of fuel, I forgot I had some in here. And then I had some stone in there, but we're gonna have to go get that coal, and I think we're gonna do that, that next episode. Uh, there we go, I got enough for two conveyors. Uh, go back to the, the copper age. Oh, there we go. Now I'm gonna use two conveyors. Now I'll just take a second, and I should have my robot. We'll put the robot over here. And. Now it has to be on this at that output. I don't think it'll work from the side, so I just do it that way because the conveyors can come from all sides. So now we go. We have ingots going across. We turn that off just to sort of watch it going through, and these will go over to here. Right, we'll another conveyor like so, and just because we'll do one more robot. And quickly craft that up. Like so, and there we go. I think I was actually gonna do one more, wasn't I? And I can, yeah, because I want to put that. Yeah, let's use the robot to go into the chest, just because it looks cool, right? Get as much animation going as you can. That's the wrong thing. There we go. Now it's taking copper plates, and it's putting the copper plates in there for me. So complete and utter automation. The only thing I have to do is get automation going to this, but this takes a little while to go. I'll put it busy and that because this thing is being held up. I don't think there's any other way to speed this up because it has a certain cycle, right? But it definitely, or production. Uh, we can get higher tiers of that too if we look and get to the steel ore washer here. Same thing, it uses uses kinetic energy. And then we can get up with the aluminum, but the aluminum we have to start getting to the arc finish where we actually gonna need power. And that's gonna be the fun one. But there we have it, our, our first complete utter automation from ore to to plates. All on steam. But anyways, I think this is a good place to end this episode here. I thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, leave me a like and I will see you in the next one. Later.